New at 4.30, consumer advocates say a specific email scam is flooding inboxes, hitting at least 80% of workplaces. Consumer investigator Alana Otler joins us live now from the CBS Tower in Dallas. She's letting us know what to look out for with this one. Alana? Ken, by now we're trained to ignore certain emails. You know the ones that I'm talking about. That email from someone in a foreign country asking for a million dollars. Well, a new study shows that people are far more likely to respond to people they think they know. Few of us would ignore an email from the boss, but consider this your excuse to hold off. Because the scammers know very specific details about you, your company, and an eminent business transaction. It's known as BEC or business email compromise. And according to the BBB, sure. victims have reported losing $26 billion since 2016. Oftentimes, scammers will spoof emails that look like they're from your boss, grabbing your work information from LinkedIn or company websites. Then, the crooks ask for speedy payments, bank information, or W-2 forms. Felt like it, a ton of bricks had hit me. Gracie Veronica fell victim to another BEC scam. The day before closing on her home, she wired $45,000 to someone she thought was her title officer. I probably won't be able to get this house. In 2018, the FBI identified more than 11,000 victims of internet real estate fraud. Together, they lost $149 million. Dawn Moore owns Allegiance Title in Dallas. It's not just happening to buyers wiring to title companies. It's also happening to title companies where we're getting bogus wire instructions. You may notice scammers are using better grammar and spelling these days, thanks in part to better online programs. But there's always one word you should be suspicious of, Ken and Gilma, and that is the word kindly. That's just not a word that people use in common conversation anymore. So I'm kindly. I'm Alana Altler with the Ones for Justice. <laughs> Thank you, Alana. Good advice.